Hey, back at you. Good day. Uh, I had a request to speak on the colors, Crip colors. A uh, brother out of a brand member from Austin, Texas, requested that I, I speak on the uh, Crip colors. In the last video I did that was posted on Daniel Saez's uh, channel. Anyway, let's get at it. Official Crip Colors. And how did it come about? Well, from 1970 to 1970, mid 1975, there was no official Crip Color. The colors came about because of one prominent member from the West Side, whose name was Curtis Buta Morrill. Buta was a prominent West Side Crip. Matter of fact, Took's right hand man. After a while, that was Took's right hand man. And Buddha was a real C rider, Crip rider. And uh, rest in peace, big homie. But anyway, Buddha was the only one that I knew when we first started who primary colors he wore every day was what? Blue. He wore blue overalls, white t shirt. A, r a blue rag tied around his head, one hanging out his pocket. He used to sometimes you see him one tied around his his wrist, but he always hanging out his pockets and around his head. Anyway, when he got killed in 1975, took as all the homies on the west side and spread the word to the east side. When you come to Buddha's funeral, please wear blue to honor Buddha. So that's what the homies did. And from that day forward, Royal Blue and Navy Blue has became the official Crip colors of Crips. Yeah, that's how the colors came about to make it official. That's how it came about. Now, other colors, other shades of blue are not Crip colors. No, they're not official. Now, in California, neighborhood Crips were powder blue. And they wear the powder blue what? Why? The only way you can look at it, to distinguish themselves from the main body of Crips. Yeah, that's the only way you can look at it. We're going to distinguish ourselves from the main body of Crips. Okay, now you pulling yourself from the main body of Crips to identify as a particular gang wearing powder blue, drop the crib. Because powder blue has nothing to do with it. Drop the crib. Even though, even though Hoover Crip changed their name to Hoover Criminals, they still retain what? The colors. They still retain the color. Blue. They didn't go to no powder blue or Purple or green, no, or different shades of blue, no. Either it was royal blue or navy blue. How do I know? I used to live in, in Hoover Hood. I got folks from Hoover. So that's how I know. Now, if you want to change the Crips' colors, change your name, because you can never change the colors. Powder, powder blue is not a Crip color. It's a color that particular gangs in California, specifically neighborhood Crips, use to identify themselves from the main body of Crips. You know? And it, you know, it went a little further than that. It went a whole lot further than that. You know, about the changes, the culture change, and different Crip gangs changing the culture, trying to change the culture. But they can't. Nobody can change this culture. The only way the culture can be changed is that we all agree to it. That we all agree to it. And everybody hasn't agreed to it. No one's has said, okay, we're going to adopt powder blue. Also, no. It's not. Why? Because for one, let me restate this, in California, Neighborhood Crips 
wear powder blue to identify themselves as neighborhood crips away from the main body of crips. And now, don't you know the gangs, you know, a lot of crip gangs in California don't like it, you know, but what can they do about it? But I say, not just for neighborhood crips, this is for anybody. If you want to change the color, you want to wear a different color, drop crip off the back of your name. Drop crip off the back of your name. That's what you should do. And before I end this, I'm going to state this one more time, how blue came about. Buddha Moore. Curtis Buddha Moore was the only crip I knew from day one who wore blue exclusively. And when he passed away or got killed, took ass all the homeboys, west, east, whoever come, Compton, wear some type of blue, either royal blue or navy blue. And that's what they did. And from that day forward, 1975, royal blue, navy blue has been the official colors of Crips. No other color. And me personally, I don't recognize no other color. Can't, I, can't, I don't recognize any other color except for royal blue and navy blue. Those are the official Crip colors. And if any gang wanted to say, we're going to adopt this color, drop Crip off the back of your name. And with that, have a good day, everyone.